Is it audible? Yeah, no, it's audible. So I was trying to find the, the record button disappeared for some reason. Okay. So, yeah. So your question is, some people seem to be attached to the result. Okay. No, they are concerned. I don't know whether they are attached or not. They are definitely concerned about the result. Okay. Mm. This concern and uh, leads to attachment. Definitely it will lead to attachment. So, so, we need to be careful here. <clears throat> so, concerned about a result. So, they may be serious about, the, about what they want to accomplish. We don't know if that seriousness makes them stressed out and this and that. Correct? How do we know all that? We can't, we can't make that judgment. Because now we are making a judgment about a person. So, they have grand plans. Yes, they are not simply planning in thin air. They are serious about the outcome. And they are working for it. And uh, seriously working for it. So, yeah, they also are serious about the outcome, just like any of us might be, would be. But if the outcome doesn't turn out to be what you want, then what happens to me? Then I undergo all kinds of stress. I, am, I panic. I may be despondent and uh, this and that. So many things happen. Okay. But... For a jnani, technically, those things cannot happen. Because doership is not there. So therefore, please be care remember, care be careful. Concern will be there. And the, the, the seriousness will be there. In fact, the jnani, last time it said, one of the attributes of jnana is, one becomes more efficient, one is focused, and one continues to do what needs to be done. But that does not translate into... Into what? Into despondency. Into attachment. Despondency is not there. Attachment is not there. Whatever be the outcome, this is what we must do now. If the states are corrupt, what can we do? So, so, so we will do whatever needs to be done. So that kind of attitude will be there for a nyan. For a nyan. So we don't. Second point is, we try. We don't make judgments about. About people, about, about people who are wise, who are helping the world in their own way. We don't go around saying, does he know, does he not know, does she know, does he not. All these kinds of statements we don't make because no, no. knowledge is for our sake only. Yeah, I'm not saying you're saying it or anything like that. But I'm just adding a comment here. It is, it is for our sake. And so, and so, uh, uh, is the video coming properly? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Coming, coming. Okay, okay. Sir. So, and so, that is, that much is clear. We are very clear about that. And so, there need not be any attachment like the way we, we might be attached to things. Yeah. Then, uh, this Punya and Papa, it keeps on changing. 100 years before, whatever is considered as Papa, now it may be, may not be, in a true sense. For example, uh, uh, after food, uh, we, uh, they, they used to clean it with the cow dung and all that. That was considered as cleanliness and uh, this thing. There are various swadha, there are various rituals which are left out. Which are left out, which our previous generations has done it. And the other day I saw a, a great man of 90 years, even before bath, he does then some Vai Chaitalta. There was there some way of taking bath. He says mantra for each and every, every part that he is, uh, the water falls on him. So those things we have, it is forgotten or it is left out. That Punya and Baba keeps on changing. It will get, keep on changing also. Not only across time, across Jagarpil region also. If you go to uh, uh, extreme North Polar and you say that you should not kill uh, fish and take and uh, and all that, uh, it is changing there. 
Correct. So the point you have made is important. And what we learn from that is this. We learn that Papa is not gained by a particular action, but it has a lot the context surrounding that action. Okay. So one person thinks that by killing an animal, I'm gaining Papa. Therefore, I will not kill animals. Therefore, I will not eat any animal. Another person, you put that same person in Alaska. And that person cannot survive without fish. And because no trees can, no plants are growing there. Unless you import all this food from some continental US, you can't you can't have proper vegetarian food. So context is different. Context determines action, and only and then only one can make a judgment whether it is Papa Pundia. So you made the point very clearly. Very true. And it changes with time, etc. And context changes with time, therefore Papa Pundia changes with time. What applies today will not need not apply tomorrow, or what applies today to me need not apply today itself to you. So all that is all that is well understood. Yeah. It seems that somebody is uh, keeping the record of Punya and Papa of ours, and it becomes a prarata karma of the next birth. Correct. That uh, external person uh, force knows this. Correct. Correct. That's the beauty of this karma. We give the name Chitra Gupta when we do Sadhya Amdana. We say Chitra Gupta is the greatest accountant. Yeah. Long before all the CAs and CPAs. You should not became. become obsolete. <laughs> yeah. Chitra Gupta is the greatest accountant. We do, you know, all of us when we do Sadhya Amdana. We do Yamaya Namaha. So we say, hey Yama, my salutations to you. We first say hello to Yama. And I know you are there. And you take care of everybody, and Yama is called Chitra Gupta. So, very interesting. Yeah, so that law, that law, and we have given Yama as the caretaker of this law. And so, yeah, it's, 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 it's in good hands. It's in good hands. Hopefully. <laughs> Any other questions? So, when the uh, uh, arrow is out of the bow, then whatever we create, whatever your today's class, I'm trying to put together points to make uh, the final conclusion of uh, the liberation here. That so the whatever we create, which are mostly the notions, projections, uh, those are the things which we create as we go along. And uh, so once we surrender those things, and then the arrow comes back to the uh, the one who uh, release it, then I am done with that. Is that right statement? So, when the arrow, repeat that. The arrow is released and uh, yeah, the uh, creations, we create a uh, lot of things and uh, those are all mainly the projections. Right? The projections, notions uh, in, the, in the process, we create all this. So the moment we understand this and surrender them, and when the, uh, of course, when I say when it's coming back to the same person who released it, is understanding what is Brahman. So I am done with that. Correct. So, so understanding that everything is Mithya. Yeah, that is the key here. Understanding that everything is Mithya and understanding that I was never a doer to begin with. But I mistook, mistook myself to be a doer, therefore gaining all this karma. And therefore attaching myself to things that I shouldn't really attach to. Instead of observing things and doing my duties, I have taken myself to be a victim of situations and victim of things, etc. So all that is corrected by this knowledge. And, uh, and so the example of bone arrow is given. But we don't have to take, stretch it too much. So arrow coming back to the person and all, we don't have to say the bow example, arrow example is given. Because just to show the prarabdha karma, just to show the prarabdha karma. Because remember, prarabdha karma is there even for a nyani. Even after knowledge, the, the arrow keeps moving. The body keeps there, the body is there and it continues to live and 
and the heart continues to beat, etc. Right? So the arrow is keep continuing to move. Correct? Because Shariram, the, in this symbolism, we are talking of the arrow as uh, the body. The arrow continues to move until the arrow falls, meaning body falls. That's so that the example is used only for that. Product. Only for product. And so, and because, because, uh, just to differentiate from Sanchita and Agami, which Nashyati, which is lost the moment knowledge is gained, but for Prarabdha, Prarabdha is there. It will continue to unfold. Unfold in a way that even the Jnani cannot, cannot control. Jnani cannot control how long this body lives, etc. Or if somebody says, no, no, a Jnani has control. They can decide when they can die. If you say, yeah, okay, that is fine. That is also part of the Prarabdha only. Okay. Yeah, when you surrender all that and the target I'm talking about, the target, it reaches. Yes. So you, you surrendered everything, which is like you consumed or fructified entire karma, which means that I do not have anything else to consume. So which means I am done with all the karma. So my target is reached. So target is reached when you say it is, see, after knowledge, how long the body survives is irrelevant. How long the body survives and the arrow fall, arrow is the sharira, right? So arrow falls means, or arrow hits, the, this arrow hitting the target is not important in this example. It's irrelevant in this example. We are just saying the arrow is like the body and it will take its own time and its own trajectory will be there until it falls someplace. That like that, the body also has a trajectory. Body has a journey and it has to go through that journey. That's all we are saying. Target is not where it falls and all we shouldn't confuse. So where the arrow is hitting and all, we are not worried about. Because knowledge happens when the body is alive and the arrow is moving and then arrow continues to move. Arrow falling means body fall, body dying. Okay. So just to be sure, I'm not sure if I understood your question, but target and all, if you are referring to target as the target of the arrow, then that's not what is being referred to. Example is just symbolically, yeah, symbolically representing the arrow, but what's happening during the life is basically we only the projections uh, are the notions, like you said, uh, the rope and snake. I created the snake, there is no snake, but I created the snake. So, likewise, I'll keep on creating so many things in my life, which I call it as projections. Once I drop those projections, surrender them, and get the knowledge, then that's the end of it. Like, I mean, when I say target is what is understanding that I am Brahman. So then my karma is totally rectified and I do not have anything else remaining. Correct, correct. And so the, the prarabdha karma, it continues. Just have to add that check. So the karma is all gone. Sanchita is gone completely, zeroed out. And uh, Agami is zeroed out. And the only thing that remains is prarabdha karma, which even a jnani cannot zero out. That's what we say. Okay, is for a shristi. And that, that what has started, the motion, the momentum has started and momentum is still there. And it will take for the some time for the momentum to be to become zero. That's what we say. That is applicable to uh, uh, Jivan Mukta. Uh, that means like right, the uh, the prarabdha karma, because he has already um, consumed all other karma. So the prarabdha karma has to be there as long as the body and the sukshma sarira is there. The moment I go away, I mean the sukshma sarira left, the body drops. Then for uh, 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 for that uh, knowledge person, wise person, then then it is a liberation for uh, the person. Yeah. So prarabdha karma is there for the wise person and the samsari also. Yes. That statement is true for both. Okay. Right, right. So for us also and for Jnanis also, it is all there. Only difference now is after the Prarabdha Karma gets exhausted, then what happens? Then for a Jnani, there is no Karma left. Therefore, there is no Punar Janma. 
But for a samsari, anything is possible. Such the karma is still there, and the, therefore that will fructify into another body. And that punar dharma is not there for any because Sanchita Karma is not there and that is not there because there is no honor. Now we need to claim the Sanchita Karma. So, <laughs> Swami gives an example. <laughs> I remember. And he says, one person, Muhammad had three wives. I think I may have mentioned it in class once, but still, now is the time to mention it. Three wives are there. And A, B, and C, and uh, and then this this guy passes away. Means Jnanam is gay. If this guy passes away, who becomes the first widow? Who becomes the first widow? So we can't say the first wife became the first widow like that. We can't say <laughs> all three of them are gone. I mean, are widows at the same time. So like that. Often, so the sense of the karma, rather the karma. Of course, slight difference is that rather the karma is takes a little time, but all three karmas are essentially eventually gone for us for a year. Good. Any other uh, questions? How are your parents doing, Jagannath? Um, so I will. Uh, 